Good morning, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 319 of the Fixing My Life series. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Raven. And 319 days ago, I decided to try and fix my life. I was very unhappy and very disappointed with what my life looked like. And I wanted to do something about that. I didn't want that to be my life forever. So what I decided to do was make a list of about 10 to 12 things I thought were absolutely important and integral for me to tackle first in my life. Things like fixing my sleep schedule, my water intake, level of exercise, how many prayers a day I was doing, um, how often I was reading the Quran, things like that. And I decided to track my progress with each of those things every single day. And the goal is that by becoming more conscious of each of these things, I will hopefully develop some good habits and drop some bad habits along the way. So today is day three in BAM. Um, we are here at Sulphur Mountain and we are starting our trek up Sulphur Mountain. Elevation is a little different from yesterday. Yesterday the elevation was five something. Today's is close to 800 so it's pretty much going to be steep. It's, it is a shorter trail though so looking forward to the shorter trail but not looking forward to the steepness. Thankfully going down we don't have to go down uh, on our feet. We'll be taking the gondola down. Your girl already feels it in her legs. Yesterday we did trail of six plane or whatever. So I definitely cannot talk and do this at the same time. So let me just give you a quick recap of the morning. I was feeling a little better today compared to yesterday. Yesterday was really rough on my stomach, alhamdulillah. Thanks to God, I got some uh, um, relief. And um, now, and then in this morning, I finished uh, the cherry cola that I had last night to kind of regulate my stomach. I had a croissant, and that's pretty much it. I'm trying not to eat too much, because I don't know what's gonna upset my stomach and what's not. And that's pretty much it. I'll check in with you guys soon. Before I forget, I just wanted to also recap that before we left the hostel, we all get gathered outside to, um, you know, do roll call and stuff. And then there was a super, 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 super beautiful prayer said. Actually, really touched me. It was basically about intention, renewing your intentions of why you're doing this uh, hike and, you know, praying that this journey, this trip is different for each of us. We're all doing it for a different reason. We all are going to learn different things from it and it's going to change us in different ways. Some of us are running away from something, some of us are running towards something some of us are hoping to gain something and the prayer was basically to you know get the best that's good for us and better than what we want it's just a beautiful prayer didn't want to forget recapping that <sighs> Whew. that was us down there and much lower so as you can tell, much steeper. This isn't even up, even a halfway point. But look at that view. Holy, they're so majestic. Look at that clouds. Incredible, really. Onwards and forever forwards. <laughs> Made it a little higher. I want to show you guys. So we were down. All the way down there. That was us. It was crazy, eh? Two huge tips I can give 
to anyone who's considering hikes of this nature, bring snacks and take breaks. I know it sounds so silly and like common sense, but trust me, you're going to see people on these hikes that seem like they do it regularly. They're going to be zooming past you like quickly speed walking past you this that, that like don't compare yourself to anyone else on the hike catch your breath when you feel out of breath catch it recuperate and start again and i think then you'll have a more enjoyable experience that's what i've been doing for this one taking way more breaks i don't mind at the end of the day is it about how many breaks you took or about the fact that you completed it? For me, it's the latter. So, breaks away. Here's another check-in, guys. We were all the way, like, close to down there. And we'll be taking the gondola down, that little cable car, but just look at the view. It's crazy. We're not there yet. <laughs> oh my god. My knees are buckling, so I'm not going to look down, but I want you guys to see the view. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Terrifying. Oh, my God. Holy. And more to go. Whew. Oh, my God. When I look down, I don't feel so good. This is why it's terrifying. Like, it's literally a drop. Like, look at those rocks down there. Terrifying. Whew. I'm taking another break. Holy, look how scary that is. It's literally just a drop. Oh my God. I'm really proud of myself. Like I'm scared right now. I'm scared to get up, but I'm proud of myself. I can't look down, but um, just look at that. So it turns out that I went a little too far ahead. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that beautiful water. There's a beautiful waterfall right there. Right? And where that person is sitting in pink, I went farther than that. And look how narrow that part gets right there. It was narrow, 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 and it got more steeper. Sorry, it got more steep, and I'm like panicking because I'm trying not to look down because my knees are like feeling it, but I kept going, and then I'm like, something doesn't feel right. This, excuse me, this trail feels like it ends, and then thankfully, I just kind of like held onto a rock, and I just stayed in a corner, and my nose running I think it is and then oh uh, another person from the team came my way too and they're like oh is this where we're going I'm like I don't know but do you mind if I hold your hand and she she let me hold her hand which was nice but uh yeah guys if you have a fear of heights on this don't look down it really messes things uh up <laughs> like I'm I feel pretty scared right now but um kind of just want to get to the gondola <laughs> Ooh, look at that oh my goodness gracious terrifying being up this high holy wow I'm so scared I'm so scared having my back to this it's just a fear of falling down but how beautiful that is. Whew. Hi everyone. I am taking a quick break on my hike up Sulphur Mountain. Today's day three of my uh, time in Calgary in Banff. I will share the view. I am doing this hike as a way of raising money for the country of Afghanistan, the people of Afghanistan who have been displaced and have lost shelter, access to food and water, 
and I'm hoping that you know my campaign has raised some awareness about the current situation in Afghanistan and thank you once again to everyone who has already donated and share shared my page um, if you guys can continue spreading the word, I would greatly appreciate it. Fundraising has not ended. My launch good page is still available, so feel free to share that if you would like. Any and all help is so, so appreciated and welcomed. Um, the donations will go towards getting people of Afghanistan um, access to emergency shelters like family-sized tents, um, hygiene products like soap, and um, water collection items like buckets, and rice, uh, you know, food. Uh, so really any and all help is welcomed. Thank you so much. And inshallah in a few days, I'll see you guys in Toronto. Ooh, yeah. Wow. <sighs> Shit's scary, guys. You don't understand. It's so steep and you're right by the edge. Like it's really scary. Oh my God. We're almost there. I don't know if you guys can see the cable cars, but they're really, really close. There's one coming down right there. I'm tired. I might have to tap out guys for tomorrow. I don't think I can do tomorrow. So if I'm struggling with this one, and tomorrow's a steeper? Hell no. Nah. Boy, we better be close to the top. I am gassed, bro. Like, just to give you perspective, there was a lot of rock holding for support at this point. I'm pretty sure my makeup's coming down too because I'm sweating in my eyes. I'm like crying mascara. Oh, God. Okay, come on, guys. Look at how uneven the space is look at that and i don't even know how much further we got i'm definitely definitely actually genuinely contemplating um not going tomorrow i might have to message the group because it's one thing to like push yourself and you know push past your limits a little bit and then you find new limits and then there's another that's like actively putting yourself in danger and I feel like excuse me tomorrow's is steeper than this and even this was like really making my uh insides shake and I don't like that feeling and I've already proved to myself that I'm capable of so much more than I think I don't want to push myself to the point where like god forbid something happens to me you know and it's like fuck I could have just prevented that so I'll keep you guys posted. I might just actually end up doing my own thing um, and not go with the group, but we'll see. As of right now, this is the view. We're just literally... Look how high up a mountain we are. Like, I can't even see where we were before. Crazy. Incredible. We're not even there, guys. My mind has been made up. I'm not going tomorrow. Fuck no, I'm gonna sleep in, have some breakfast, walk around, explore Banff. Just chill, bro. That's what I'm gonna do, inshallah. Yes, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. No hiking footage tomorrow. And even higher. <laughs> so high that it's hard to even see. I mean, it was already hard to see where we came from. Now we definitely can't see. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. After this, we get to canoe. Rain has stopped, which is good, so we don't have to canoe in the rain. Uh, very excited for the canoeing. We were supposed to do some horseback riding tomorrow, but uh, the place couldn't accommodate all these people. So I'll see if there's a place close by that I can go horseback riding. Uh, and I will see if Calgary or Banff has Uber. I, I've don't know if they do uh otherwise i'll need to figure out another maybe taxi to get to the uh, horse place i don't know but yeah definitely not gonna go tomorrow i'm just gonna be chilling in the hotel probably gonna just like netflix enjoy downtown walk around explore i think that's what i'm gonna do and kind of just take in 
the city before the next day is rush, 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 trying to like pack to leave Alberta. That's a way better plan. Let's do that. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Oh my God. There was a guy coming down and I was like, are we close to the top? He's like, you got a 1.7 kilometer to go. And I'm like, after he left, I'm like, whatever that means, that's not helpful. Oh my God. So much more to go. I'm so tired. I'm not going to say I'm never doing this again. I'm just going to say definitely train. <laughs> okay. Okay. I finally got some positive. Oh, God. my! Oh, God. That's scary. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I finally got some positive news that we're almost there. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera so you guys can see. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. Okay. So that's the view. Hopefully I'm capturing it. I'm uh, really scared of looking, so I really don't know what exactly I'm capturing. Okay, 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 I'm peeking. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We're right there, we're right there, we're right there. Oh my goodness. That's some Lord of the Rings shit. Oh my god, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Holy. Y'all see why I'm scared now, huh? Holy. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God. This is terrifying. This is really scary, guys. Oh, there's a rainbow. Oh, there's a rainbow. There's a rainbow. Oh. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. Rainbow. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Whew. See the rainbow? It's a rainbow. Whew. Holy, I'm so proud of myself. Holy, I mean, the fear of heights is still there, but I'm proud of myself. Remember, one uncomfortable thing or one thing that makes you scared every day. Look at us go. I'm really proud of us. Good job, guys. Almost there. Got to head up there and then we're good. I think we're almost there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fuck. Yes. Yes, we're almost there. Oh my God. 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 Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna sit here. Show you guys. Oh my goodness. Holy. <sighs> Holy. Very scary. Definitely skipping out tomorrow's. I definitely have to listen to my body. When we're challenging ourselves, we have to make sure that we're still listening to our bodies, right? Like, yes, we have the limit that we think that we have, and then we have a limit that we actually have, and then we have a limit that's like, like over, over, like crazy pushing, like David Goggins' limit. <laughs> um, I'm good with the second level, okay? And I think this was the second level for me. I'm good. I've proved to myself already. I don't gotta do more. And I know this is probably like my fourth time repeating it, but I gotta keep telling myself because I also have this uh, determination, sometimes to a fault. And I never wanna be that person that's just get stubborn about something. Like, I signed up for this, therefore I have to do it. And there's no turning back. You know, there's always turning back. You can always take a break. You can always call it quits. And uh, it's important, I think, to remind ourselves of that 
which is what I'm trying to do. So, oh, oh, God, that's slippery. Oh my God. Alhamdulillah. Oh my God, we're almost there. We're right there. We're right there. Woo! Oh my God. Oh my God. We made it! Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. We made it. Holy cow. Ooh, this is scary. Ooh, this is scary. Oh, this is scary. Look how high we are. Holy. All right, well, at the Manitoba, it's suddenly really, really cold and really, really windy. Uh, so, we're just gonna show you the quick view because uh, your girl's not gonna go too close to the railing. Little spooked. Okay, those better not be the stairs because I'm not going up those stairs. Y'all see that? Hell no. Look at this view. Holy. Terrifying. You guys have no idea how hard I'm gripping my phone. Oh my goodness. We're heading into the gondola, guys. This is where they come in. Oh, that's how they do it. They push us out. It's like a ride. And that's the... Oh, you guys can't see because it's so bright, but there's a beautiful view going down. I'll take a video of, of it once I'm in the gondola and chill. I was not yeah. expecting I just, I just that. We're getting on a gondola. Now to mentally prepare. Guys, Oh my goodness. Why is this fast? I don't know. Okay, this is like a roller coaster. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. Because the one in Vancouver is not this fast. This is like. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Terrifying. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe we hiked up this. That's what I'm saying. I'm so proud of us. Oh my goodness. So we're going to have nice glutes to camera. I want to buy myself like a nice pair of like leggings, just to mm -hmm. nice. be like just to accentuate my look pocket. Look. <laughs> <laughs> It'll definitely help. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That's beautiful. That is subhanallah. That is just wow, 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 wow! Oh my goodness, that's oh beautiful. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my goodness. We oh lord. We did this. Oh my goodness. We really did this. Wow. Are your ears popped? Yes, yes. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's I want to go to the Look at what God's created. Exactly. It like blows my mind. It's like a little town. There's shops on the side. We're heading over to the canoe place. It is very majestic. We're heading down there for the canoe ride. It's my first life, first time canoeing in my life, so I'm very, very excited for this new experience. And I was actually going to sit it out because I was very tired after that hike. But I decided to just do it since I'm taking tomorrow off. Might as well finish today strong. And uh, inshallah will go well. Guys convince me to come, right? <laughs> and these wonderful two <laughs> people, people who are also on the trip with me. These two wonderful brothers um, convinced me, yes, to, to go on this trip. Very excited. I didn't think so either. <sighs> Yeah, you Alright, this is where we're gonna go canoe. It's Bow River. It's my first time canoeing in my life. I'm really excited. And also very nervous because I don't know how to swim. So thank the sweet Lord for dive jackets. If you hold down here, it's not as uh, efficient. You can't get enough power. 
This way you get a lot of power. Okay. You're gonna be reaching forward, putting the whole blade in the water, and pulling it back. Okay. Okay. Uh, very important everyone stays in the middle of their seats, that no one's leaning over or anything because that's how people go in the water. It's a glacial fed river, it's very cold. Oh you don't want to my god. Uh, so you hold yeah, one hand at the top, other hand about three quarters of the way down here, somewhere oh around here. Okay. Reach forward, pull the water back. Whoever's in the back of the boat. I'm canoeing. Holy. It's crazy. I'm the person in the back. <sighs> this reminds me of the time X and I played uh, A Way Out and <laughs> we had to steer the boat. <laughs> but I think I'm getting okay at it. <sighs> this is the view. Crazy. Hi guys, probably gonna be my last check-in of the day. I think so. So after the hike, we were dropped off in downtown for lunch. I ended up going to, um, what's that called? Uh, sorry, just blanking out, I'm so tired. Went over to Ardeen, I saw Ardeen there, and then I went to Boston Pizza. I ate the six cheese ravioli or something it was really really good and so far this morning since this morning my stomach has been better today so no constipation or diarrhea so that is really 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 good news and that's why I'm being extra careful with what I'm eating and putting into my body I had one pizza slice as well then the canoeing happened and then after that we were dropped um, we, we were told that we could go head back to the hostel so I headed back to the hostel, but on the way, I think I stopped by a souvenir store. I couldn't really find anything. Like, I don't want to just buy a souvenir for the sake of buying a souvenir, you know? I Like, I want to buy something that I connect with or I think is beautiful and amazing and incredible. It has some kind of significance. I haven't really found anything like that yet, but I did find three um, magnets. So one for my parents, one for my sister, and, and then one for each of the siblings. Um, that I think that they would like and they could put on their fridge, like a fridge magnet. It's really cool. The letters of Banff are made up of images of the gondola. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But for my brother, I actually wanted to get him a bookmark. So still on the hunt for that. I, so tomorrow I'll be doing that. I've definitely decided not to go for the, I think it's called Haling. Not doing that. And uh, once I got into the hotel room, I was earlier than everyone else, so I got to shower and go to the washroom and wash up in peace. It felt so good. I climbed up here, was passing out, but I made sure that, uh, alhamdulillah, I got to pray Usr and the horse, the horse and Usr. So actually, wow, I prayed all five prayers today. Yes! Oh, that feels so good. Alhamdulillah. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah. Okay. So I prayed all five prayers today. It feels super good. I was supposed to leave after Maghrib for dinner with everyone. I just couldn't, guys. I needed to be alone. I needed to be by myself. Uh, and now I'm here with my food. I got the strawberry, uh, the virgin, strawberry, vir uh, virgin, strawberry margarita. And I have some fried, uh, shrimp tacos right here. So let's see what it looks like. I've seen this for the first time with you. Oh, okay. Okay. Please tell me that. Oh, it comes with rice. I didn't know that. Okay. Yummy. And then. It's pretty good. It has like a hint of guava, I would say. It's pretty yummy. So I'm going to eat this right now. I'm going to relax. Maybe like watch a show or something. I don't know, but either way, I'm a relax. I'm really excited for tomorrow. I just relax and take it in. So I um, don't know what I'm gonna sleep to what day I'm gonna sleep, what time I'm gonna sleep tonight. But it doesn't really matter. We on vacation, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, and uh, I'm pretty proud of myself for everything I've accomplished so far. That's for sure. 
definitely going to have to do a reflection video later. But as always, I'm wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your body peace and happiness and goodness. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boos. Stay scrumptious, my no nose And God willing, I'll see you all in the next video if I'm healthy and able. Quick thing before I forget. New experience today with the canoe. New experience eating, um at Chili's new experience um what's I call it having the ravioli although I possibly might have had it once in the past I just can't remember for sure and new experience doing that elevated hike that was quite high very scary very very scary the, the drop like I was thinking about it while I was waiting for my food and I my, my knees were feeling it and I was thinking how did I do that incredible really um our bodies are incredible but another thing i wanted to note uh, about the canoe trip is that i would highly advise that if you are going canoeing with someone for the first time that you don't go with someone you don't really know i feel like there's a lot of trust involved a lot of patience involved and a lot of like respect for different people's limits involved and if you both are kind of on different pages, it's going to impede the other person's experience, right? Like, let's say one person is already gassed, which was me today. I was gassed after that hike. Y'all saw me. I was like, done. I was like, I'm tapping out. I'm done, right? Then we had canoeing. And they said, like, you don't have to do the whole two hour trail. You can just do a bit and come back. So, of course, I wanted to experience it. But at the same time, I didn't want to do two hours. So the person I was with, um, it seemed like she was down for the whole thing. Cause I asked her, I was like, are you planning to do the whole thing? And, or I think I, I, I either asked, are you planning to do the whole thing? Or like, how much energy do you have in you? And I remember her saying something like, you know, a lot. And that was, and I only asked that at the part where I was like really feeling it in my arms and my shoulders and everything. And I was already quite exhausted. Like I could feel it in my eyes. And that canoe thing, I was, like, really pushing myself. And I was put in the back. Um, That was a little questionable. I don't know if it's worth speaking to this person about it later. Because I don't know if she did it on purpose or what the case is. But it seemed like she kind of just volunteered me to be in the back. And I had already told her that I don't have experience with canoeing. But she said that she had done it once in the past before. So, logically, it would make sense that the person who has had even... A uh, one time more experience than you would kind of offer at least to go in the back or ask that do you want to go in the back or do you want me to go in the back but she kind of just pointed towards me and then the guy's like okay get in the back and he's like you're gonna be doing most of the work like you're gonna be doing most of the direction like controlling direction and I felt pretty crappy about that because I was already so gassed um and I was really hoping to be paired up with a guy because I feel like that would kind of for me, at least, I admit, and I have no shame admitting, that I don't have much upper body strength. So if the guy was at least in the back and I was in the front, I could definitely support. But he got to be the ADC. You know what I'm saying? He got to be the ADC. I got to be the support. And it just didn't work out like that, unfortunately. So, you know, now I definitely know for next time I'm not going to do an activity like this uh, with someone unless I'm very close with them. We have a bond. We have an understanding. Like, if it was my brother... I 100% know it would have been a different type of experience. Um, although this this person didn't say anything. Like, they were they were fine and cool about it. But I kept feeling, like, I kept apologizing, saying, I'm sorry, like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I, I, I want to, you know, I'm, I'm done. So I had to turn back early. But then what ended up happening is it was slowly raining anyways. And then the rain slightly picked up. And everyone started turning back. Or, like, most of the canoes started turning back, too. So it wasn't like we were the only ones turning back. Uh, just wanted to mention that because canoeing was was a part of this day that uh, I forgot to mention all of this. All right, guys. Now I'm off for real for real. I'm going to enjoy my meal, inshallah. Good night, Raven. Bye, guys.